Good morning everyone. Uh, we're going to do two more measuring activities today. Uh, Noah's going to be doing a measuring activity that is a little bit like a jigsaw, it's putting things together um, and I'm going to explain how you could use that with older children, so children in Key Stage 2, the ways you could adapt that. And then for Gabriel we're going to look at a nice little uh, measuring um, activity using non-standard units that you could do with Key Stage 1 as well as EYFS. So Nora, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look at yours then. So, what I've done for Noah today, he's got a picture of a house and each side has different measurements on it. Now, in a little pot here, I've pre-measured some strips of card and these match up to the different measurements on here. So Noah's going to be measuring them, working out which one is which, and putting the house together. So Noah, are you ready? Yeah. So, can you get one of those out for me? Okay, so put it on, the, on here. Let's measure it and see how long it is. So remember, we have to put it on zero, not the... So look, are you on zero? Mm. Remember, no you're not, you're at the top of the ruler. So make sure it's on zero. There we go. What does that measure? 15. 15 what? 15 centimetres. What on here measures 15 centimetres? Yeah. It's one of the sides, isn't it? Okay, good boy. So, I want you to have a look at one of the others now and see if you can keep building the house quick as you can. So measure it as well, make sure it's accurate. Now ways you can make this a little bit trickier, you could put some uh, lengths in, make sure it's up to zero, otherwise it won't work. You could put some lengths in that aren't 15. on here. Another 15. So that would make it that little bit more challenging because some of them wouldn't work. So I have no 16s on here and I'd have to have a longer ruler. But I could have some lengths that were 16 and 14 as well that I'm not using. That would make it a little bit trickier. Um, if you're doing this with older children as well, um, you could also look at um, adding the total um, length of the sides up to find perimeter. You could also maybe incorporate area. So you could look at the area um, of the house and maybe remove um, the door. I've got eight. You've got eight. What measures eight on there? Uh, and what is it? Eight what? Centimetres. Centimetres. Good boy. So you can put it on there. You could even have children designing their own and then measuring and cutting them themselves, obviously with super, uh, adult supervision and safety scissors, uh, but they could be doing the measuring themselves and they could even be doing, is that a zero? They could even be doing more accurate measuring, looking at centimetres and millimetres and decimal numbers as well. Good boy. Well done. We could also, this is another thing we could do. Good boy, keep going. Keep going. What you could also do is look at when we've put it together here. We've got 15 here and 13 here, but it's actually going to create a longer side because of the um, length going across the bottom. So that would be a good discussion point uh, with children about what how we could make it exactly 15, what we'd have to do here. Okay, so that's looking fantastic, Noah. Well done. I'm going to leave you to carry on going with that while we have a look at what Gabriel's doing. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a little one, isn't it? Is that at zero? No. Is that at zero? No. No. We need to make sure it's at zero. There we go. What does that measure? Uh, four. Four. What's four? Yeah. It's one of the sides of the door, isn't it? Four what? Four centimetres. Four centimetres. So you keep going with that and we'll have a look at what Gabriel's doing. So Gabriel, we have a little look at what you're doing I mean, today. Okay, well, can you just come off the mat a minute so we can see what it is that we're doing? So, on the car mat today, and you don't need a car mat to do this, um, Gabriel, just move your hand. What you could do is, I've used masking tape, you could do this outside um, with chalk as well. But I've just created some different routes for the cars to drive on and we're going to have a look at those routes and see which is the longest. You'll notice each one has turns in there as well. So Gabriel, we're going to start with this one here and we're going to use uh, cubes to measure it. You could use Lego bricks, that would work. So Gabriel, can you just get the cubes from over there, bring them close to the whole basket. Now to make it a little bit quicker today in the live, I've already put them into groups of five so that it'll just be a bit quicker for building, for watching this. So can we make this length here, Gabriel? I will see you. 
no, 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 no. Just get some bricks Whoa, out, please. Get some bricks out, please. So can we do this length here? What? Can you do this length here with some bricks? With so, Gabriel, Gabriel, I want you to look and listen. Mm -hmm. So, is that long enough? No. It's not, is it? How many more do we need here? A bit more. A bit more. Is it going to be a whole stick? Yeah. Really? So, we're going to put a whole stick? Like for, is that enough for that or is that too much? A bit too much. Right, so how, ma how many bricks? How many bricks are we going to need here? Um, I think you're going to have to break some up, aren't you? Yeah. Go on, snap them. No, not that one. This one then. The one in your hand. Snap it up. Right, let's put some down here and see if we've got enough. That's it. Is that enough yet? No, keep you going. Might need a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Right, goodbye, Gabriel. We need to do this bit now that's going a bit of a diagonal, isn't it? Can you put some bricks on here? Do you think we might be able to use one of our whole sticks for this? I think, yeah. Right, well, let's try one of our whole sticks then. Let's try one of our whole sticks. Put it here. Like that? Not like that. So it follows the line. Right. Have we got enough or could we do with one more? A, a bit of one more did that A whole stick more? Or yeah. just one brick more? No. Which one do we want? A what? How many do we need there? Do we want a whole stick or one brick? Not one. Well, let's put one down and see what happens. Is that enough for this bit? It's not for this bit, but it's enough for this bit, isn't it? Speak to me, don't just nod your head. Yeah. yeah. Right, we need to do this bit now, don't we? Should we do this bit? Yeah. So remember, we're following the masking tape. So let's get another stick. Is that a stick? No. That's one, isn't it? Use a whole stick. Because it's a big space that we're covering. Oh, that's good. How many do you think we need there? A one. Just one. I think that's a good idea. Right, now then we're going to count these together to see how far this car travelled. So you ready to count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seven, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 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 eighteen,